What is up, friends? Friends, it is your boy Z3G's here, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a Black Ops 2 sniper gameplay on Nuketown. Yes, it is Nuketown. I know it doesn't take that much skill, but all in all, I went 52 and 10 with a sniper, and uh, I was just having a really good time with my friends. It was we we're just going for clips last night, trying to get some uh, clips for uh, episode or maybe a montage coming out. But uh, I I was just really enjoying it. Uh, we had a couple people from the live stream join us here and then, uh, just going for some clips and stuff. But uh, I really did enjoy it. Also, I did hop on there and uh, use some of the new camos, which are pretty awesome. I did pick all of them up. So far, my favorites, obviously the weaponized 115. And then I do like Beast and Octane. I'm not a big fan of Dead Man's Hand, but I have not tried it out on a lot of weapons. It does look pretty cool on some of the weapons, but uh, just not just not my favorite camel. But it's just a camel. I figured I'd do like a uh, a video on camels and stuff about them since I did pick them up. They are only two dollars a piece. You also get a pretty cool calling card for each of them. And then like three different sites that are like greenish colored for like the 115 and then the different colors for all of the other camos. So pretty sweet. I thought it was uh, pretty fun to go for clips with all these new cool little camos that everyone was using. But uh, that was really fun. I really did enjoy it. We're really close to 300 uh, followers. We got like 20 followers last night. Uh, I was pretty impressed because I streamed. I mean I streamed for like five hours last night. But... Um, I wasn't expecting just 20 something followers off the bat. I was like, oh wow, people are really enjoying what I'm doing. So I'm just going to keep doing it, guys. So uh, I'm going to stream uh, later tonight if I do stream because it's really, really hard for me to stream consistent times on the weekend just because I have work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, I'll try my best to stream tonight. If I don't uh, stream, that would be why. But I try to stream every single day. So if you guys want to check out uh, my stream and go follow it and see uh, what kind of content I bring out, go follow uh, my stream in the link below. It will be in the, in the description below. So go check it out. Uh, also, my Twitter will be in the description below, as always. So guys, uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about something today. Another commentary with Izzy. I was, I'm just having some really good thoughts lately, but today I was kind of more thinking just about solid skill. Uh, in video games or even in different things in life actually because uh, I, I was a pretty a uh, pretty average sports player uh, I, I loved sports I was a very athletic guy growing up in high school and stuff like that and just uh, as a younger lad if you want to call me that but uh, I was a pretty athletic kid and I was pretty good at everything I did whether it was in sports uh, video games, just random stuff. I've always been pretty good at just a lot of different things, no matter how much time I've spent into it. But a lot of the time, that's not how it works out for some people. Because, um, I mean, there's those gifted people that are always going to be better at you than certain things, even if it's in school. Like, if there, there's always that one smart kid in class who doesn't study for his test and gets a good grade but you spend hours studying on your test and you bomb it <laughs> and, or like the really really athletic kid which in my case that's how i was um people try their hardest to prepare for basketball tryouts and they don't end up making the team but the kid who doesn't uh not saying i didn't try my hardest in tryouts whenever i had a sports team tryout but um i I was a lot more gifted than people, I was a lot more athletic, but I also did train for it, which was the thing. I didn't get it easily, but I, al I usually had uh, an easier road to it just because I was gifted with an athletic ability. So The same thing applies with gaming, you guys, because a lot of people in my live streams or YouTube videos are like, wow, Izzy, you're really good at sniping, or wow, Izzy, you're really good at competitive and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> that's not the case. Kind of a little story <laughs> on um, on gaming. I think it's hilarious to this day. I remember my first time 
ever playing Call of Duty. It was back in the day when Call of Duty 4 was in its prime, when everybody was playing it. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. So we literally had six or seven guys over at my friend friend's house, and he had Call of Duty 4 in the PlayStation 3. And everyone was showing off their quick scoping skills and their... Uh, mp5k skills so you can get a longer kill streak and stuff like that and one of my friends was like hey brennan you wanna or brennan or izzy if you guys want to call me whatever brennan what, what do you got you want to play some call of duty you want to try this out i was like i guess it looks fun but i don't know you guys and i was not used to the controller at all remember i used to play call of duty on the wii but this was before i even had a wii so i didn't play games on uh PlayStation 3, so I was not, I never experienced multiplayer, I never experienced 1v1s in, like, gunfight aspects of things, not actual 1v1s in a private match, but aspects of, like, a player versus player. I was used to playing, like, uh, racing games back in the day, I played, like, just some single player games on the PlayStation 1 and 2, I remember playing Battlefront and stuff like that, that was the games I was used to, but a player, multiplayer aspect things, I was not even used to, so basically, my friend hands me the controller, I go in, <laughs> I can't remember the map, I just remember what the map looks like, but... It was Call of Duty 4, I had the shotgun, the semi-automatic shotgun that you can burst really quick, I believe it was the M10. Uh, I had that shotgun, and I go down in this tunnel, and this guy is right in front of me, AFK. I miss my entire clip of my shotgun into this guy, all my shells go right around his head. I'm trying to reload, I go in for the knife, miss the knife on the AFK player. He turns around and does not go, he's not AFK anymore, and ends up just headshotting me with a sniper. It was embarrassing, but it was hilarious at the same time. Just one of my stories on uh, Call of Duty when I didn't play, ever play. That was my first time ever. But it was really funny, kind of a you had to be there moment, but uh, that's just a funny in real life story that I'll never forget to this day. So, um... Just, just kind of the main point of this commentary, just saying, if you guys really want something, or you really want to be good at something, you gotta work for it. You gotta grind out GBs if it's Call of Duty. You gotta be playing better people than you if it's game battles or gaming. Even in sports, it's the same exact thing. You gotta be playing better people that are, uh, I don't know, in basketball, I used to play basketball, if they're a better shooter, if they're a better ball handler, if they're a better pulse player, you gotta play bigger, stronger, faster, quicker people. It, it's the same aspect of things in gaming and sports. That's why I love both of them, that's why I play both of them. So, uh, just kind of, uh, I don't know, just a motivational speech, not really a motivational speech, it's just kind of something that was on my mind, you guys. Just, if you really want something, bad enough you're gonna grind it so you're good at it and you're gonna want to win no matter what and that's kind of where the uh time frame i'm at now is i want to be the best i want to be so good that no one can beat me kind of thing it's a cocky mentality but it's a good mentality if you want to be good at something that you really enjoy doing so i hope you guys really did enjoy this commentary i put a little bit of thought to it thought into it last night i'm slurring my words but it is early in the morning, or early for me at least. I had to wake up at 8 this morning and shovel the driveway because in Minnesota we got 8 to 9 inches of snow last night. So, goody joy joy. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys did like the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and like the content I put out. But as always, guys, this has been your boy Easy 3 gs and Brent's friends. We will see you guys later. Peace out.